What's up guys, welcome back into the Millennial Profit. My name's Adam and I'm a full-time reseller. If you're new here, I'll show you all different kinds of ways to make money. So if you like money, hit that subscribe button. I made this video about a year ago, but after another year of mentoring some younger sellers and kind of seeing what their early struggles are, I figured I would make this video to help out any new sellers on eBay and talking about some of the early struggles that a lot of beginner sellers have so that maybe you can avoid them and I will help provide insight on how to solve these problems. So let's dive right into the five biggest things new eBay sellers struggle with. Number one, this may not apply to everyone, but it will apply to a lot of people. Capital, most people starting out in this game are trying to just start a side hustle and they may not have a lot of money. That may be why they are starting this side hustle. They wanna make some extra money or they want to eventually quit their job and be able to do this full time. But I've seen so many people like wanna buy stuff so fast and they wanna just dump a bunch of money into this business and that's just not the way to go about it. You need to scale up at your own pace. Even if you have all the money in the world, if you have no knowledge in reselling or eBay and you dump a bunch of money on a bunch of products that you don't really understand or you don't understand how the markets are going to react, you're gonna be out that money really quick. So I always advise, even if you have a lot of money, start small. Like I have always talked about in a bunch of my videos, start with selling things from around your house to generate capital. This will teach you how to look up comps, how to price competitively, how to list, and how to ship. These are the basics to eBay. And this is the best way to start without having to spend any capital. Once you do this and you start moving some of these products, you start seeing how they move on eBay with the prices that you're putting them at. Then you go to the thrift stores, you go to garage sales, the bin stores, all different places like that, because those are places that you can get really cheap inventory. And that's where you start to learn how to source. That's where you learn what your bread and butter is, what you are knowledgeable about. And that's where you can take your game to the next level. Like I've said in a bunch of videos, I don't recommend hopping straight into online or retail arbitrage. It can be very costly and it will eat up beginners. Number two, patience. This one is probably the biggest one. I see so many people that just wanna quick flip everything and they're like, hey, I have 150 listings and I only sold one thing today. That's about on pace. Like you can expect to sell, depending on the category, about 1% of your store a day. So one item per every 100 items on eBay. It's pretty accurate. I have about 2,500 items between my two Ebays right now and I sell between 15 and 35 items a day, I'd say. So sometimes it's a little lower, sometimes it's a little higher, that's just how it is. But you can't expect to just sell everything right away. You have to have patience. It takes inventory in the eBay game to make money. And the biggest key to eBay is consistency. Listing every single day, pulling down those old stale listings and selling similar on them to count as a new listing, as well as push that back up the algorithm and checking your price on it at the same time to make sure that it is still competitively priced. That's one that wasn't gonna be in here, but we're gonna add it in now because it just came to my mind. So we're gonna have six in this, but number three, pricing competitively. This is something I see trip up a lot of new resellers. Some of them just go off of that little trending rate eBay shows you in your buy it now listing. That's not accurate at all. The best way to find prices is to go to the current market, see what everything's currently listed at. That's your current competition, so you do need to know that. Then go to the sold listings and check what those are. Those are what things have actually sold for, so you can kind of get a read on what to price at there. But again, if the solds are showing like a bunch of $40 and then some people have it for $35 listed, why would they buy yours for 40? So you need to kind of check both markets just to see where the current market is at. And also say the trending rate that you find is around like $40 free shipping. I see a lot of new sellers list stuff at $40 plus shipping. Why would they buy yours for $40 plus $12 shipping when they could buy one for $40 free shipping? So just take your time and study the markets. This game is all about research and you definitely need to research your pricing to make sure that you are competitively priced with the rest of the market. Number four, good inventory. Like I always say, you need inventory to make sales, but I see a lot of new resellers really struggle with this and stack up a bunch of bad inventory just to have inventory. If you don't have good inventory, it's not gonna sell. If you have a thousand listings, but it's bad inventory that has really slow sell through and nobody wants, that doesn't mean you're gonna sell 10 items a day. Don't stack up bad inventory. Make sure you are stacking up inventory that you see has a sales history that you know will sell eventually. Some things may take a year or two to sell, but that's just the game. You need inventory, but don't get bad inventory. Make sure that the inventory you are buying will sell. And a common question I get is, how do I know this item will sell? that research is right there on eBay, like I just talked about in the last segment. Look through the solds, and when you're starting out, only buy items that have good sell-through rates and good solds. If you don't know what sell-through rates are, I will link that above. 
Number five, shipping. This is actually probably the biggest one that trips a lot of people up and why a lot of people actually don't even get into this game. Shipping is just intimidating and especially a lot of them come from like Poshmark or Mercari where they give you a label and then they see eBay and you actually have to print your label off. You have to put in the weight and dimensions and then choose between all these different options. It's really not that big of a deal. Do not let this deter you from selling on eBay. It's a super simple process and the best way to do it is to estimate your shipping costs before you actually sell. And you can do this by using the eBay shipping calculator. One big mistake I see a lot of people do is when they list it, it says you're going to pay this and it'll say like 35 to like $55. That's actually what the buyer is going to pay, not the seller. So don't think that's how much it's actually going to cost you to ship it. The best way to check your rates are by using the eBay shipping calculator, which I will link down below as well if you wanna use that. It's free to use, it's a great tool, and I always just put in my worst case scenario zip code. So in Ohio, I'll put in a California zip code, and that's the most something could possibly cost to ship. If you need a full tutorial on shipping, I'd love to give it in this video, but I have like a 16 minute video, I'll link that up above, where I go through all the basics on how to ship on eBay everything you need to know about that. I've got an updated one of that coming because the rates have changed a little bit and they took away regional rate box A and box B, but it gives you a good idea on how to ship on eBay and how to decide between all of the rates. And lastly, number six, calculating profit. This is most likely why a lot of items get tanked on eBay is people simply don't know how to calculate profit, taking out their fees, their costs of goods sold, their shipping, and they're losing money and they don't even know it. One app I really recommend is the eProfit app if you aren't good at calculating profit. Personally, I just do it in my head, but not everyone is great at math, so if you're not, I would definitely recommend the eProfit app. You just plug the numbers in and it will spit out what your profit will be on that item. So fees on eBay are anywhere from four to like 15%, depending on the category. I always just assume 15%, so I always assume the worst. I always just build 15% in to be safe. And then again, you gotta make sure to take your shipping out. So like we talked about in the last segment, Use the eBay shipping calculator, estimate the highest possible cost it could be for shipping, and take that out as well as your cost of goods sold. Make sure if you're at a store that's adding tax into the item that you deduct that as well, not just the cost of goods sold. Like say you bought something for like $9.99, it's gonna have some tax on it if you didn't have a store that deducted the tax. So just make sure you're taking all of your costs out to make sure that you are making a profit because I see so many people so many times like, oh, I bought this for $10 and I sold it for 18. Sweet, I made $8. Um, no, you had to pay $5 to ship it. You had to pay $2.50 in fees, and then you had to pay $11 after taxes for the item, and you lost money. I see that problem so many times. Just make sure that you are calculating your profit when you're pricing your items. And if it doesn't make sense, then it's not a buy. Like you may say, well, why wouldn't I list it at 18 if that's the trending price? You don't buy it for that then. If it's $10 and it's only selling for 18, it's a pass and it's on to the next item. Don't take too long when you're in the store sourcing either. Like you should be able to make that decision pretty quick and it's gonna get faster the more that you source. So I hope this video was helpful for beginners or anyone struggling with these things on eBay. If you're interested in my group, Bread and Butter, you can check that out first link in the description. We have in-store flips, online flips, wholesale deals, anything you need reselling in there. You can check it out down below. If you're not interested in that, no worries. I appreciate everyone so much who watches my videos. There's money to be made everywhere, guys. Let's go get it. Thank you for watching The Millennial Profit.